Greetings all you Minix Minds and Grinds, welcome back to another Warframe Weapon Showcase. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Kuva Chakor, a weapon that I've had for an extremely long time, ever since it just came out, I think it was like the third or fourth weapon I got. Um, I haven't done a video on it, I don't know why, uh, but the Kuva Chakor, it's a pretty strong rifle, not pretty strong, it's a very strong rifle, but it's very slow, and that's my real big gripe with it. Uh, also, there's some weird things about this weapon. So anyway, this is the first build I'm going to be using. So, yes, I know. I'm losing damage. Oh my god, the, the, the tragedy. Look, this thing has a 3.3 second, re 3 .3 second reload speed. I don't want to hear it. And also, this thing uses sniper rifle ammo, but it cannot benefit from something like arcane momentum, which gives you more reload speed. That's annoying. Uh, I have hammer shot for more critical damage and status chance. Honestly, you could have heat here. Uh, either one works. I think for this, I'm just going to, you know, throw on heat because why not? Heat corrosive. So, it's a very slow rifle, but it is also an AoE rifle. So, this is how fast it fires. And yeah, I have stabilizer on it just because, you know. This thing kind of recoils a lot, so how strong is it with just the corrosive build? Pretty, you know, pretty powerful. So, this weapon is obviously going to just like one tap everything on the star chart, including most demo units. Not all of them, but most of them. Especially if you get lucky with the procs. But. A new mod has came out uh, pretty recently, and this is going to be the main showcase here. This build. So internal bleeding. Impact has a 35% chance to apply a slash proc, and two times when fire rate is below 2.5. And the Kuva Chakur is 1.77. So, this thing effectively has, what is that, like a f nearly a 50% uh, wait, no, 70% actually chance to slash, and then plus the viral, and there's a reason why I'm playing Nidus, and that will become apparent soon, and also I'm going to play Nidus in the Steel Path, so yeah, um, these slash numbers are pretty large, that one's only 30k, that's 50k, that was 90k, good god. That was 100k. I, th these numbers are probably getting someone off. I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's very, very strong. And yeah, the AoE is actually kind of large. So, the reason why I'm playing Nidus is because he has a little thing called, don't know if you heard of it, Teeming Virulence. Which makes this thing, which has 125% critical chance, red crit. I think you see where I'm going with this. So all I need to do is group the enemies together. That and then look at this. You don't need Nidus to do this. If you group them up with like a Vobon or a Mag or a Korra, anything like that, any frame that can group enemies together, it's going to, you know, a benefit from the thing's AoE, and the AoE really isn't very large. It's only 2.9 meters. Uh, do I still have primed? No, I don't. I, I don't have a, a primed Firestorm, but yeah. If you have primed Firestorm on this, that will obviously go up. But, you know, your weapon, your game. Now, the only problem, because this thing uses sniper ammo, ammo isn't too plentiful. And you only have uh, 55 rounds plus 11 uh, to work with. So we are going to go into the steel path. And then after that I'm going to do a normal disruption. and uh, Or maybe Kuva disruption would probably be a better idea. Because the Kuva guardians there are tough as hell. So we'll do that. And um, yeah, that will be the showcase. And as always, I will fight the Acolyte. I really hope it's not Mania. 
So I don't want to have to deal with Mr. Magbubble. Uh, yeah, I would kind of need energy. So, um, yeah, let's see how this thing performs. Honestly, it, I'm pretty damn sure it's just going to obliterate. So, internal bleeding is essentially hunter munitions for weapons that have slow fire rate and high impact procs. But unfortunately, it doesn't work with the primary catch moon. Oh, that helps me. That's wonderful. I need to... What the hell? I need to get my stacks up. Luckily, it's pretty easy, so I'm just going to do that. And then get my stacks up more, and then just... Yeah. It's basically one-shotting the enemies. And look at that, my stacks are already up to 40. <laughs> and they just keep going. Get out of here. And the benefit of using Nidus other than the crit buff is that when you are linked with an enemy, you can't get knocked over and you have damage reduction. Absolutely fantastic. Yep. Oh, obviously this weapon's going to shine when you can group enemies together. Other than that, if you can't group the enemies together, it still works pretty damn well. But a lot of, a lot of it is mostly just dependent on grouping enemies together. Because it fires a small projectile and it's not a big AoE. So I'm just going to wait for these scrub lords to get over here. Actually, I can just... I can just go to them. Come here. Thought I got the buff. Hey, what is this blasphemy? There we go. The hell was that? Yeah, if you can nail headshots consistently, then yeah, this thing is just... Now, internal bleeding comes from the new railjack, so there is that. You don't need uh, internal bleeding. Hunter munitions with this weapon with 125% crit chance and plus this, which is like... I want to say it's like 310% crit chance, something like that. Uh, no, 200, not 300, 200% critical chance, a little bit more over than that. Then Hunter Munitions is going to work pretty well. You could take it one step further and use Argon Scope if you really feel the need. I can, I can just send them up to the ceiling. I need a... There we go. You can activate uh, teaming virulence even if enemies are not wrapped up. All you need... To, it doesn't care. All you need to do is hit four enemies and then you have it. So yeah, when they're all tightly packed like this, yeah, um... <laughs> Yeah, this thing is pretty fucking powerful. It's like a sniper rifle, but without any like the benefits of a sniper. No way. Life support has been replenished. And ammo isn't a problem because I'm killing so many enemies. I should probably get max stats stacks before Mr. Acolyte shows up just in case. Just like a nice safety net. Not 100% necessary, but, you, might, you know, I might as well. And I think I maxed stacks. Yep. I'm also going to do this for added protection, and I need a new hope, uh, a uh, new uh, victim. Oh. You're cute. Obviously, he's hitting kind of hard, but also, he's dead. Bye. Nice knowing you. Yo, give me my goddamn rifle back, you fucking punks. Now, I'm not going to play Nidus for this. For the disruption. I am actually... Should I play? I mean, I could play Wisp and get more fire rate. But... Eh, not too... 
necessary. And you know, let's play Ash because Ash's passive is going to benefit this thing because, yeah. <laughs> and, well, why not? I, I don't play Ash very much. So, you know what? Why not play Ash for the uh, disruption? So, I'm going to do... What disruption? I could go against the Corpus on Lua because they'd be really high level, but you know what? I think I'm actually just going to do the, yeah, this disruption, this, this disruption on the Kuva Fortress because the Kuva Guardian demos, they're tough. They are really tough. Now, I could have played Mirage, but, you know, uh, the, or uh, Banshee or anyone else that could buff guns. Yeah, this is, by the way, it's going to be a one shot against everything. I think even the demo units, but, you know, we'll see. Get out of my way. I wish you could skip Little Duck's dialogue without going into the... Without doing this trick. But whatever. So now, I just have to wait for the demo units, and yeah, it's going to be a one shot, regardless if I get a, a status proc on normal enemies. So that was only a two shot. That was a two shot because I didn't, I didn't get, I really didn't get lucky. But yeah. It has no accuracy if you're not zoomed in. Um, another problem with it is, you know, the ammo, but that's what you have secondary for. I could just, just use my uh, Axe until I see the big guy. And then I use uh, my big gun on the big guy. You know, it makes sense. Anyway, moving on. Oh, a leech Xmas, dead. Again, I do this just for brevity because, you know, it's just normal level enemies. But I might as well do it like this, just so I cover all the bases because a lot of people probably aren't going to play Steel Path. Be it they simply don't have the equipment to do it, or they don't care to. Where the fuck is this douche? Oh, he's all the way down here. Okay. Oh, Nox. Okay. One shot. I mean, <laughs> this is a very strong rifle. I'm pretty sure you can hunt Eidolons with it, but I mean, who cares about hunting Eidolons? We have better ways of getting... Uh, Arcanes nowadays, anyway. Alright. I would love to get fire rate, but I don't know if that would skew. Does anyone actually know? Um, does internal bleeding count the base fire rate or the modded fire rate? Or does it do both? I actually don't know. So, like, if you're playing Wisp, will internal bleeding get nerfed? I'm very curious if anyone knows. Okay, it's just a heavy gunner. I thought it was. Yeah, yeah one shot. <laughs> and this one should be a Kuva Guardian. If it's not, then I'll go until I see a Kuva Guardian because. I want to see how much damage it does. And get these goddamn stupid mines out of here. They're so annoying. Ow. What are you? Ah. Okay. 
It probably could have been a one shot if I hit the head and got lucky. Or if I was being buffed by someone. But, you know, I, I think you get the point. The the Chukor is absolutely fantastic, and it's not just with internal bleeding. Of course, internal bleeding helps. But if you don't have internal bleeding, uh, Hunter Munitions exists. And uh, honestly, at normal levels, even in Steel Path with the right buffs, you really don't need internal bleeding. You really don't need to do Viral Slash. It's It does make a difference, but... Only if you're going against really high level enemies. If you're using this thing with Zaku or anyone else that can completely remove enemy armor or reduce it like crazy, it's not going to matter. But, you know, I thought I would just cover all the bases. So if you're wondering what mine is, it's 52% uh, toxin. Now, I think, I think heat would be better, but I don't want to do another lich for a very long time. I don't want to do any more Grenier Liches unless they add new stuff. Because I have everything. Literally, I have everything. But, it's good. Would recommend. Uh, just make sure to bring Warframe buffs if you really want to see big numbers. Um, this thing with Harrow is kind of nuts. So, keep that in mind. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, in Trilby, we trust.